Chilling below the family, it's your girl Sophia Spiritual Light, and um, I'm here to deliver a message. It's actually very, very, very troubling to me um, that I even have to deliver this message. I'm gonna pull out my cards, see what's going on here. Um, I have been, you know, pondering on the proper timing for releasing this information, but I just uh, some extremely egregious things have just happened, um, to me, um, and, you know, without going into too much detail, um, we have this issue with my family home, and, um, so not only the nerve of these people to attack me in my sleep, and, um, improperly send these entities to try to get me to write contracts or, or agree the contracts so that I could, um, actually, uh, you know, go back, you know, the, stop my forward motion of what I'm doing, um, and, and the role that I have to play. These mofos have, um, you know, egregiously overstepped even the traditional legal standards in their behavior and my car just came up in reverse. That's amazing. Um, to behave in such a way that is completely outside of their own law system that they created and they even invented. And, um, you know, a short story, a, a short part of what uh, uh, happened is that these people um, sold and resold and sold and resold my grandmother's home. And then... Um, you know, we got a lawyer, which, you know, what neither here nor there, we got a lawyer to deal with the case. And then we engaged in some private processes to resolve the issue. And these fools act like we didn't do nothing. We didn't, we didn't send no letters. We didn't request no information. We didn't do nothing. And they went over to the county tax people and they, uh, called themselves putting their name on my property. And, um, they did this of all the days to do this. They did this on my grandmother's birthday. This is when the, the record was updated. We've got, um, the high priestess here. Um, they did this on my, on my grandmother's birthday, which is, and that's the card that came out. That would have been the card over that time. Um, Capricorn. No, no, no. Before that means they filed it in, in Capricorn. No, it happened in Capricorn. Yeah, yeah, it happened in Capricorn. Yeah, that's right, that's right. It happened in Capricorn. So, so far we got the high priestess. So, now I have to get involved. And, you know, me, generally, I try not to get involved in these kind of things because, you know, I don't really believe the government. I don't believe in their systems. And uh, I do as much as possible to mock their systems. Um, whenever given a chance because I don't, they're not God to me and therefore, um, they deserve to be mocked. That's my official position. We go, what's we got? We got the five pinnacles in reverse. All right. And that was a time we just came out of where the money is there. Yeah, because they don't, the money is there, but it's not theirs and they're wounded and they're wounded. They're wounded and, and they are just, you know, they, they have a real problem now. Now they have a problem. So, we'll find this out. I found this out this morning. My mom had sent me a message last night. All praises to the most high. I was already asleep. So, I found out this morning. Well, um, you can only imagine that I took, I, I went to task on the most high and the mother. And said, well, what is going to happen with this? Why? Why, did, why would I do that? Why, why would I go to them? Well, because... I have been complaining about this to the father, certainly, and to a lesser extent to the mother um, since I started with the cards and stuff. And when, especially when I started with the pendulum, um, even when we were just doing the, the Solomon's Tables uh, that long ago, I was like, this, this, this situation got to be resolved. This is ridiculous. And so, um, you know, I'm giving, you know, the authorization and the access and the permission to move forward with, um, you know, a, a resolution to this situation. And the reason why I'm, I'm bringing this up is because I also asked another question. And this is what this, 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 this truly, we've got the chariot, which is in um, 
cancer, right? That's that's when I would have begun to ask about this. That's amazing. Um, and it's a person. It's a person that's 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 building themselves. So I began to ask about this all the way back in cancer season. In the chariot energy, when I'm trying to rebuild myself, um, you know, and and lay a foundation for not only myself, my family, the nation, whatever. I'm just working on behalf of everybody, right? And I'm seeing this kind of stuff. So, not only this, this is the part where I'm, I'm, the, this is the information I've been trying to, I would, enough more information I've been hoping that somebody else would bring up. But we have to know what we're dealing with. We have to know, we have to know all the tools in the toolbox for the Philosopher's Stone that we're building, which is ourselves. And there's a tool out there that we don't know about. Maybe some of you know about it, but maybe you don't understand what the, what this tool is. There are spirits out there called Olympic spirits. The Olympic spirits, unlike the angels, are spirits that are in all four elements, earth, fire, air, and water. The angels that we currently deal with are in the air element. <clears throat> The air angels, the all the guardian angels, all the archangels, all of those, those are in the air element. Those are under the authorization, um, you know, mostly of the father. They listen to the mother too, you know, because they lead together. But they, those I would consider mostly the father's angels. The Olympic spirits are the mother's angels. They are the, they are the specific uh, leaders that the mother picked to run the physical planet. And what these people have done with these entities is turned every last one of them into a demonic entity and told you that they were demons and they are not the Olympic spirits are not demons. They gave them different names so you wouldn't be able to figure out who they were. But you know me, I'm doing my investigations and as soon as I find information that and when I get the authorization to bring it, I'm going to bring it. And this is information that you guys need to have because the Olympic spirits are the ones that can physically assist with getting things done because they are here on this physical plane. The air angels are not on this physical plane. They don't, they're not on this physical plane. Number one, number two, the air angels give the authorization, but they still got to go to the earth angels and their many, many legions of um angels with them which is not the air kadeshi the air kadeshi are uh uh earth they're they're earth angels they're kind of like again this is why i say the the angels are co-managed they're they're under the mother but they're not the earth they're not the mother's angels they're not her they're not her army they're um they're the watchers they're the listeners they're this they're they're the record keepers which is not the same as the mother's army her actual legion of 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 angels that she's controls those are not hers now there is still fallen entity though this is not to be confused with that because that's a totally different set of spirits which again as i recommend you don't deal with those entities at all unless you absolutely are instructed to period but these those entities their leaders nine times out of ten are the earthly mother's angels because they're only allowed to do what is accessed and the reason why i realized this and as i'm saying it it makes perfect sense if you read about the olympic spirits i implore you go and read about the olympic spirits you read about the Olympic spirits. If you come to them and you are not pure of heart, they will send a demon. They will not. They'll send a subordinate or they'll send a demon flat out. If you are coming to them with a bunch of mess, trying to contact them and you haven't done your shadow work and you haven't gotten yourself together, they will send you a demon. I'm about to show you justice. They will send you a demon. They will send you what you deserve. The just you deserve. That's what they're going to send you. That's what I'm going to stop pulling cards for a minute. Yeah, they will take from you. They will take from you. They, what they will not do is allow you to do whatever you've been doing and call upon them. So because these people are so wicked, 
whenever they call these Olympic spirits, they got demons. So they named them. They said, oh, the Olympic spirits are the demons. Instead of doing the work to get themselves right and what was necessary, they just called all of the Olympic spirits demons. Gave you the list of demons and told you those were those were the demons. Instead, of, just understand this. Instead of these wicked ass people doing the work, they sent you demons. They sent you demons instead of sending you the angels. And so they called all of them demons. Even though they only got poured out what they put in. They put in wickedness, they got poured wickedness out. And that comes to you and then they call that a demon. Because they poured out wickedness. And they got what they poured out. They call all of them demons. But they still preserve the fact that they were Olympic spirits. What did they do? They gave them different names like they do everything. They gave them different names and then they told you that these were what the Olympic spirits were. Now, I'm not sure if this is for all of them. I'm, <sighs> Father, I, I just, I'm so disappointed at, at our, uh, our lack of research in this, in this area um, concerning these things because Anyway, I'm I'm very I'm just I'm disappointed. I'm very, I'm just so disappointed. Look at what card is this? This is the tower. This is the tower is in reverse. This is you know, this 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 tower is is not being it, it's not falling down. It's being built back up. We're, we're we're building this thing up from the bottom the the very bottom of what's going on to the top. Because that's all we can do. This is how, this is how insane all of this stuff is. Everything is backwards. I got the tower in reverse. Everything is backwards. What's up is down. What's right is wrong. Everything is backwards. Every, everything is backwards. What do we got? <clears throat> we got the five of sticks. That's because they want you to think that these entities are fighting when in fact they're working together. It just looks like they're fighting from the outside. If you're a Gentile, you don't have the eyes to see. It looks like a fight, <clears throat> but it's not a fight. They're working together to do the will of the Most High. I don't. You're not going with them. It's if I uh, if I go, I'll come and get you. Okay. Yeah, you're not gonna go with them because they're taking a the bus. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just said if I go, I'm gonna come stop and get you so you don't have to, you know, so you'll be able to get home and stuff. Which I'll, I'll let you know. I'll text you. You have your phone during the day? Um, yeah. Okay, I'll text you and let you know what I'm going to do. Um, Y'all, I'm just so, I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed in our people. I'm so disappointed. So this tower's in reverse. It looks, <clears throat> they made you think that these entities were fighting. Just like they made you think the mother and the father were fighting. <clears throat> they made you think. That Adam and Eve were fighting and Adam and Lewis were fighting. They made you think all these people were fighting, but they weren't fighting. They were working together. They are working together. Everybody was in their lane. And because everybody is in their lane in the Gentiles, these Psalms 83 and the hidden black eye, they don't like order. They give you a bunch of chaos. They give you a bunch of chaos when clearly if you look closely enough, there's order. Just like with the tarot spiral, just like with the tarot cards. Just like with everything they touch, they give you a bunch of chaos. And then when you're trying to, oh, or like with the angels, we're asking earth angels to do things. They still got to turn around and go get, we're asking air angels to do things. They got to turn around and go get earth angels. What sense does that make? How much extra work is that for them to go and hunt down the earth angel that they need to get the thing that you need done? What does that, what sense does that even make? But this is what they're doing. First, they have you pray to a God who's got to go down and find the right angel for, for whatever it is you ask for. Then, if you start dealing with the mother, they have you deal with the mother as if she has nobody working for her. Then, if you 
even look at other entities, they're telling you that they're the demons. And then they're not explaining exactly what that means. They've got all of these images and all of this stuff. They nobody even the 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 interpretation of all of this is so it just looks like chaos. And when you're able to put one piece in order, one piece, all I wanted to know was what is a timeline? What is a timeline? How do these cards line up with the timeline, with the cosmic clock? Because if this is the, the if the tarot is the Torah, then it's got to have order. And the order that is, it never made any sense. It never made any sense. And it, it, they did that on purpose. They purposely changed the order of the cards. They purposely changed the faces on the cards. They changed the skin color on the cards. To make these people dark skin. I mean light skin when they were all dark skin. And when you see these these cards, they keep making them lighter and lighter. These people were never light skin on these cards. When I did my edits, I realized they were always dark. They were always dark skin. And they changed them to make them lighter. They whitewashed our history. Our literal history. They changed it. They whitewashed it. They turned it into something that is unrecognizable when you just find one piece. One piece that you can make sense of. Then you start to see what's going on. And so there is order. It's not chaos. It just looks like chaos because of the Gentiles in the Psalms 83 and the black hidden eye. They made it look like chaos when it's really order. There's order to all of this. And so the, the bulk of my message is not really that. But I, I have to tell you all. Or I have to implore you all to do your own research because I was drawn to that whole glamour magic and all of that stuff. And um, because I was told very clearly that we had to give Lilith a happy ending. And again, as they say, we talked about it a little bit, but they say Lilith was the first wife of Adam and then she left in a hissy fit and and then Adam I mean then God, God made Eve I don't think that's what happened I literally do not think that's what happened I think what actually happened is Adam was left just like the Most High has his angels the mother had her own thing going on and so they tried to get Adam and Lil together so that they could work, they could rule together, much like the mother and the father rule. But it wasn't the proper time. It wasn't the proper time. There was a lot of experiences that had to be experienced before that that time could come when they would be together. And so, what I think happened is because they took Eve from Adam's rib. What I think happened was that was something that the mother and Lilith authorized because they knew it was going to be a while before the mother, uh, that energy would be able to appropriately rule. And we know that's true because the Olympic spirits have times that they rule over the time that's coming up next. The time right now is under the influence of the Mercurian spirit, the Mercurian Olympic spirit. The time that's coming up next is the time of the moon Olympic spirit. That is the time where you're going to have the reuniting, the the uniting of Lilith and Eve into the solitary entity they were always supposed to be. And then when Saturn comes, you're going to have everything judged. That's, that's 800 years from now. That's 800 years from now. This is this is how I know the Gentiles have no idea what they're talking about. They know, and and. The, the, the ones who are making these decisions, the ones at the top, they know for a fact what is going on. And they want us to be so confused with all these stuff and all these details that we never figure out the, the, the fact of the matter. And the fact of the matter is we can go to the Olympic spirits, the Olympic spirits, 
to get what we need on this physical plane. When people are doing magic with physical elements, rocks, pentacles, uh, maybe not the pentacles so much, but rocks, herbs, uh, uh, physical things, they're using the mother. And I knew they were using and abusing the mother, but I had no idea it was on this scale where they're telling you that it's a demon that you're working with to get what you want on a physical plane when everybody has to go through these particular entities. And the demons voluntarily subjected themselves to these entities. They didn't have a choice. That These are the ones who are in this realm. There's only one set of angels who are physically here in this realm. That are going to physically show up and physically do something for you. And those are the Olympic spirits. The air angels, they 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 run the ley lines and they do all the stuff in the air, which is still a lot of stuff. But there's only one set of beings that has control over this physical realm. And that's the beings that are under control of the mother. And those are the Olympic spirits and their legions. That's it. So everything you ask for, you put a pineapple up. That's an Olympic spirit that you tapped into. That's what they don't want you to know. Because once you know, in the, the, in the book that I read about this, it said that everybody knows it's much better to go to the Olympic spirit than to an angel. Why? Because the Olympic spirit rules on this realm. Why bother an angel when an Olympic spirit is more likely, first of all, they like people. They walk amongst us as humans. Or at least in this realm. Or the, or the water realm or the fire realm. They walk in this realm. And they don't mind helping us if you are, if you have true intentions. This is why I said, if you have a candle and you haven't done the shadow work, don't light the candle. They're going to send you a demon. They, they control the, don't forget the Olympic spirits control the demons. The angels don't control the demons. The Olympic spirits control the demons. The earthly, the mother's angels control the demons. And if you have a, a, a bad spirit, they'll send you a demon to your candle. They'll send you a demon to your Anana. They'll send you a demon to your tarot cards. These Gentiles are so backwards, they just call the demons. Well, they might not be calling the demons. They, a lot of them, as I, I'm finding out with Lilith, they, they're calling Lilith, and Lilith is sending them demons. Demon upon demon upon demon. And the people are so stupid. They think they're dealing with Lilith and they're really dealing with all the demons that she keeps sending them because they think that she wants blood sacrifice. No, that demon that you got, they're telling you to do all this crazy stuff. That's Lilith didn't ask for that. She didn't ask for none of that. You volunteered it. You heard from a friend, from a friend, from a friend that if you uh, gave a blood sacrifice, that Lilith will come and help you. That's stupid as shit. That's not what happened. She sent you a demon because you're a demon. And you develop such a relationship with this demon that you think that it's an angel. You out here calling this entity a dark demon. I told y'all how to tell who was a demon and who was an angel. I told y'all how to tell. It's true across the board. Angels respond positively clockwise. Demons respond positively counterclockwise. You know who you're dealing with by that. That is sure, sure as the day is long. That's how it is for us. For people who have a pure heart. This is why you don't need the demons. If you have the Olympic spirit, you don't need the demons. You call you an Olympic spirit. You say, look, I need this. I'm trying to do this, this and that. Y'all heard what happened in my dream. What is this card? We got two. This is the last two. We got the Empress. And we got 
the eight of pentacles in reverse. We got the empress. We got the three queens. I got the high priestess, the empress, and justice. I'm telling y'all. This eight of pentacles. In reverse. These people are working their evilness in reverse. That's exactly what this is. I'm going to take a picture of this spread so y'all can see it. So I know I started this out talking about a bunch of other whatever stuff with me. And it's just so you can know, man, this thing is no joke. These people, these people out here, they're working with these entities. They're completely backwards. They're completely backwards. And they think they're, they're working with demons because they are demons. They're getting the negative entities because their, their heart isn't pure. But, you know... For the ones who are for the ones who are pure, we have the high priestess, we have the justice, we have empress, we have we have the mother, the holy Sophia, and the Christo Sophia working on our behalf. And everybody else, they're just out of order. And there is order. There's order. But they can never get the order. The order will it won't happen for them. They can never have order. They can never have order. They can never have order because they get they only they get a reflection of what they give. Their 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 cup is poured out and given right back to them. They see the good right on the wall beside them, but they can't have it. It's not for them, and all the work that they do is in vain because all that stuff it it it's it's not for them. And so, I implore you, I beg you. Go and do some research on the Olympic spirits. The Olympic spirits. The Olympic spirit that's ruling right now is, like I said, the Mercurian Olympic spirit. I'm going to proclaim what I was told. That the Olympic spirit of the moon is Lilith. And she's just the other, the other side of Eve. They're not different. They're the same. She's the other side. She's the side that she could separate away from Adam, really, so he could do what he needed to do and the, the planet could be procreated. But they're the same entity. They're the same. They're just two sides of the same coin. Lilith is not a demon. Lilith is not a demon. And if this is too heavy for you, you you have to just check out on my page, man, because I'm, I'm, I really am tired of the Gentiles telling us that these entities are one thing and then come to find out when you do your own investigation that these entities are not what they said they were. And yet they've got hundreds of millions of their people out here dealing with these entities Even though these entities aren't what they say they are. And so I'm very, you know, I'm very melancholy about this because our people need some rest. And the way that we can get rest is by dealing with the mother. And that's because the mother has the, the physical access to this physical realm and we can let the father do what they got to do in the, in the air realm which is a lot whatever's going on in space that's a lot to deal with and here we are again being out of order calling on entities asking for help from entities you know doing all these different things to to deal with entities and when the whole time we could have been dealing with the proper entities and respecting their order and respecting their time and that, that that really hurts. That really hurts because I know what it's like to have your time wasted, just like with these people in my grandmother's house. They're wasting my time. Now I got to get involved. Now I got to get involved because they're and they're wasting my time. 
when they should have backed down long ago and left it alone, what did they do? They amped it up. They amped it up and they amped it up and they amped it up. And now they're going to have to deal with me. And that's how the mother is. They could have just, they, they amped it up and they amped it up. And now the black dove, the spirit of Elijah has going to have to come back. The black dove is coming. The black dove is coming. To the spirits that were here with us, you're invited to go in peace. To my beloved viewers, you're invited to be at peace. And always remember that the Most High is your peace. Shalom.